Hey, I'm gonna actually show my face this time. But, uh, you see who's on my screen right now. Uh, you know, I, I'm very surprised. Kevin Leonardo does not condone 9-11. He doesn't condone 9-11. Let's, uh, let's see why he doesn't condone 9-11. almost 9-11 and every year in September I feel a little bit sad even though September is a lovely month like end of summer beginning of fall I do love September but like I can't help but think about the tragic What's event that home? is that was 9-11 that occurred on September 11th 2001 in which members of Al-Qaeda this Kinda. group led by Osama bin Laden at the Laden. time hijacked two planes like two airplanes and then crashed them into the Twin Towers in New York, America. One. So he's got all the right information so far, but I don't think he had to specify what New York, because I don't think there's another New York anywhere. Yeah. Hey. Into oh, well. the Twin Towers in New York, America. One plane also went to the Pentagon and one plane headed towards the Capitol in DC, but like the passengers were brave enough to like overtake that plane and save the people in the Capitol, even though they all died in the process. Shock. Rest in peace. Uh. Osama bin Laden since then has been, you know, found and shot. I think, I believe, under president obama's administration or like something that was like done in the orders of president obama and he was shot somewhere in not in america he was somewhere in either the middle east or pakistan someone fact check me i'm not trying to spread misinformation i think it wasn't pakistan i know he wasn't shot in pakistan i think it was afghanistan I think. Hold on. Where was Osama bin Laden? Where was Osama bin Laden shot? Oh! Look at him! He knows his terrorists. Good for him. Either the Middle East or Pakistan, someone fact check me. I'm not trying to spread misinformation, but I, to my knowledge, he is no longer in this earth. He was punished for his crimes. God damn it, man. And I do feel a not little him. bit sad not around him. September because I'm very much like, I'm not scared of death, but I am scared of people just like dying for no reason and like innocent people just like leaving this earth like without their consent and just like, like not via natural causes. Like dying from like a plane crashing into your building is not a natural cause i can't imagine going to the airport and wanting to go from boston to la or boston to new york or from california to anywhere and then just saying hello to my dead dad in heaven like i just can't imagine that and you know i've been through my fair share of like familial death deaths but whenever i hear about somebody that like lost a family member in 9 11 i feel really really sad like Pete davidson lost his father at a very young age because his father i think was a firefighter and he helped people like get out of the twin towers when the tragedy was occurring back in 2001 and when you grow up without a father like it really affects you and i feel like even though i like my dad died from like a heart attack and not from like a tragic event like I have no clue what he's and, saying. Like, I'm paying attention to the thing in his with mouth. With people that like have to grow up without a parent and people that grow up, you know, without like a I'm trying to figure out what's in his mouth because he's just saying that like he's just saying the obvious stuff. Yeah, it sucks that people die. But I'm just trying to pay attention to what's in his mouth. A full like familial home because that I didn't definitely mean like affected that. the way mm -hmm. that I grew up. And even though I'm like a very happy and positive person now, like the me as a kid like my inner child like Agent. that person that boy like needed a lot of attention and a lot of healing and a lot of like just love and i just didn't have that and i just so relate to people that like grew up with somebody that like has like a dead parent 
or orphans, like, I really do sympathize. And even if you're not, like, a kid, just going through 9-11 would be so insane. Like, I just can't believe that people did this. Like, in the name of, I don't even know what they were, like, doing this for. Like, the purpose behind 9-11, like, I'm not sure what the purpose was. If somebody wants to let me know in the comments, like, why Al-Qaeda and Osama decided to do that to America, Ida. let me know in the comments. I did Google this, obviously, a lot when I was growing up, but I'm not exactly I'm sure what the purpose was. I'm not sure if it was, like, financial, if it was, like, a political I, I know it's political but i'm not sure exactly what it was i think low-key like obviously there's like religion involved a little bit in that and i just don't understand why like there have to be has to be so many wars in regards to religion like i grew up very catholic and i'm obviously baptized without my consent but like i'm a little bit i've strayed away from my spirituality a bit but i think ultimately i'm still like very much a baptized catholic person i no longer pray to jesus Cristo, but i still you know like i identify as like somewhat of an agnostic person like i'm i do want to believe that there is something after death i don't think i'm comfortable with the fact that when we die it just goes dark that's it it's either go dark or you die and you go with the people that you liked when when you were dead. Let's say I die right now with my friends up there. It's either that or it just goes dark. There's no... At least I don't think because I don't believe in man up there. I don't... I don't think there's a dude up there. Nah. Die, we just die. I don't feel comfortable with that. Like, I would love to see deceased like if my mom like oh my god like i can't even imagine what i would do if my mom like were to pass away but like i would hope to to god that like i would be able to see her again if she were to pass away or if i were to pass away i hope i could see my friends like at some point in the future like i, I even if it's in the form of like energy or like if it's in the form of like ghosts like not like gross like oh pearly whites like i mean like if it's in the form of like spirits like something like i i think there's something there's no way we're just put here as like little ants like in the minuscule of like the whole universe like i don't feel comfortable with that like i i do identify with my spirituality but i don't love how religion just causes so much so many issues and so many just like problems like when i was growing up i grew up in indonesia jakarta indonesia right and for people that don't know indonesia is like the most like muslim populated country in the world and i think also like al-qaeda i think they're muslim fact check me on that i think there might be like islamic they're like Islamic vibes and Indonesia is the most Muslim populated country in the world and so I grew up there and obviously I like look very much like Chinese vibes like Dongwen like China vibes like I'm very much like Chinese Indonesian and my family is like Catholic like I said so I remember like in 1998 when I was born around that time I think like the Muslims in town, I think they like burned down like my family condo and I think you know there was a bunch of times when we would pray like at our homes and Muslim people like Muslim citizens of Indonesia would come and they would like get really upset that we would like pray to Jesus Cristo and it would be like a big 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 issue and one time I think they like came with like wooden sticks and they like attacked the men of the family which were my dad who was alive not like dead yet he died in I believe 2005 and they would attack my dad and like my grandpa and then they would come like I was really getting into it man mm -hmm. oh mm -hmm. I come back bleeding I'm not saying like Catholics were perfect or anything but I'm sure like you know there's like some miscommunication there but it's kind of just like I don't get why there has to be so many issues like that's a big reason why we had to move here in the first place to um, the states because I mean I'm, I wouldn't consider us like refugees but we definitely didn't want to be in a country where like religion was such a big 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 issue I'm trying to remind like everybody this is about 9-11 all right 10 minutes in <coughs> I just wanted to remind you this is about 9-11 okay I, I just want to remind you. The government itself is like also religious. That kind of like brings about more issues like when you have an issue with like a citizen or like when you have an issue in the home or like in communities, like there's a bit of like bias in the government. You know what I'm saying? And so I don't love that. Like I love Muslim people. Like I have Muslim friends now. I have two, well, one's an acquaintance and one's like an actual friend. I She's not like super, super religious, but like, I love her family and I love them, obviously. And like my house servant when I was growing up, she was also like 
Muslim, so I have literally no issues. I just do have an issue when people like have like start like wars and start like political craziness over religion. Like I know Christianity people like also did this like true. when they did the Crusades or something, and like the you missionaries stop. like when Catholics like moved here and they wanted to take stop over and make everyone anything like, crazy, like Mr. that's Nair, definitely man. an issue too. But also like when people when we talk about like religion, there's like so many groups of people that like have fights with people like for example palestine and jerusalem and palestine and the jews and jewish people in palestine and catholics and you know islamic people like there's so many issues regarding religion my personal relationship with christianity like i said i am spiritual i am agnostic i don't really necessarily identify as like a catholic person anymore but i do want to get back into it for sure it's just a little bit hard because when i was growing up like yeah i was baptized but i have a strain with my relationship with religion because when i was like younger even though like i was cool with praying and i was cool with jesus Cristo. When I was, I mean, people know, like, you guys know I was, like, molested when I was, like, six years old. Though, when I was, I mean, people know, like, you guys know I was, like, molested when I was, like, six years old by a friend. Well, my friend, like, pressured me into doing stuff with him, and I, like, kind of gave him consent, but, like, I was so young, like, how you don't give consent when you're like six years old and we just did like hand stuff but um this like older guy like 50 year old crusty like pedophile guy like gave me head too like this guy is one of the humans to ever exist on this planet he is one of the human beings to ever touch touch this earth he's he started he's he he started off so it's almost 9-11, and every year... It's about 9-11. And then you skip to down here. But um, this, like, older guy, like, 50-year-old, crusty, like, pedophile guy, like, gave me head to... Those two who don't connect! Uh-huh! Too, like, a different, like, my friend's, like, uncle. So because of that, like, I told my mom, like, a year later... Oh, and, thank God, um, my headphones came... Oh, I don't want to hear him anymore. Oh, my God, I... Oh, dude, 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 you, you, you can't connect those two. He, he did, but you just shouldn't because those. Year old crusty, like pedophile guy, like, like I told my mom like a year later and, um, she conflated the two situations and obviously like back then and even now sometimes like homosexuality is a sin and it's like pedophilia obviously is a sin that's like not good. And so I think she conflated the two situations and she thought that like it was partly my fault and that like that I partly liked it. And so I had to go to confession at the local church and I had to go to the priest and I was like, Hey, like, I'm so sorry for saying yes to my friend who wanted to play with me in that way. And I'm so sorry for like receiving head from the old man and because of that like I started to resent like myself and resent like religion and resent Christianity like I the only reason why I went to church when I was like in high school is because my mom would bribe me and she'd be like oh I won't give you like gas money if you don't go to church and I also don't love the Indonesian Catholic community in America like the people that we've met here um the Indonesian church people like I feel like they're not like super I feel like they're just kind of judgmental and I don't love like the vibe of the um, Indonesian Catholic people and they like kind of force their beliefs on me or like ask me like questions like I don't know like maybe I'm better with them now but back then I definitely did not like enjoy that but all of this is to say you know I think we should all live better and live more in peace and just like avoid things like 9-11 from happening ever again even okay he circled back he did the right thing and he circled back to the original plot of the video, which is I don't condone 9-11, which is another crazy. If you did, we would not you would not be here, but oh, <laughs> dude, how how do you weave in? I don't know. Kevin, that's your name, right? Yeah, Kevin. How? How, Kevin? Kevin, how? 
disagreements. I don't think we need to. What's it even a, re a religious issue? Oh, fuck. Hijack planes and crash them into buildings and ruin so many people's lives. Like, I think that's like a little bit extreme and I think it's rude. And I, I really do believe that like there's a way for us to like make things work. And I'm so happy that airports now have like improved security. And I'm so happy with like background checks and just like, I'm glad that we have security. Like I have TSA and I'm like, I would never bring like a weapon to the airport. Like that's so crazy. But I'm like happy that they lock the cabins and like the, the pilots and stuff. Like I'm really happy about that. And I think that was like the cause of like 9-11. So yeah, I don't condone situations like that. And I don't condone just craziness like that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a good thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to check out the links below for all of my stuff. And let's just be happier and live in peace. Thank you guys so much. I love you and I'll talk to you soon.